on the structure here. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the brand new emoji, which is not really an emoji, it's more of just a symbol, but it's an emoji nonetheless, and it symbolizes the update. And as well, I'm using the voice again, I'm going to try it for a video, and we're going to see, because I've heard some people actually do like it, and let's just roll with it for now, and we'll see how other people like it. So, if you don't know, Sean Murray dropped an emoji, which, again, it's not really an emoji, it's a symbol, and it is the Greek alphabet Omega. A lot of people are, like, super confused. We have had references to the latest experimental branch, signifying that there are things related to the codename Omega, hence the expedition, which the update may very well just be called Omega, and the expedition will be called Starseeds. In terms of No Man's Sky, what does the term Omega mean in the, with this Greek alphabet? If you don't know, the Greek alphabet Omega stands for the end of something, the last, the ultimate limit of a set, or the great end. So, what could this mean in terms of No Man's Sky census? Well, this could be plenty, and I mean plenty, of different opportunities. We could have the end of the current simulation as we know it. We could have the end of the game. We could have the end of the Void Mother versus the Atlas. We could have so many different ends. There's plenty of different possibilities, but the possibility that I think that the end of something in terms of this Omega symbol representing is the end of either the Atlas or the Void Mother. It has to be one of those because I don't think no Man's Sky is going anywhere anytime soon. 2024 is going to be a big, big year for No Man's Sky, just like Sean said. Another thing that the Omega symbol stands for is the ultimate achievement, meaning that the Void Mother could have her ultimate achievement by, you know, defeating the Atlas and taking over the current known simulation, making sure that her race and she is in full control. So pretty much, there's a lot of different possibilities, and I can't really pick one to make sure, like, like what is the right one. But it's it's a lot. And then there's the spiritual terms of the Omega Greek alphabet, which means the last, the end, the objective, the fulfillment, the consummation, the perfection, and the restitution. So, there are plenty of, like, different definitions to this one single Greek letter. You guys also have to think about this because I can't put my finger on the pulse with this one. Really think about which one is the right possibility because, I mean, it could also just be at the name of the update, and it could just be the last update, but again, I don't think so because, as Sean said, it's not gonna be like a small year for No Man's Sky, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be a massive, massive year for it. So I highly doubt that there's anything to do with canceling No Man's Sky or just stopping production on it because again, it generates them a lot of revenue. This thing is pretty much an economy generator for them. So why would they stop playing it or developing it, sorry. But you get my point. So. I'm pretty sure Omega in this case doesn't have any relevance to, I guess, like the current world with Light No Flyer and then No Man's Sky. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to represent something lore related in a way that we don't necessarily understand yet. I'm thinking it's going to be an ARG element. In this case, I think that the Omega symbol is in term for like either the Atlas or the Void Mother being eliminated. So, whoever stands tall between this, like, this division, we don't necessarily know who is actually going to stand, because you, this is going to be part four. This will be part four of the ARG, which is the last part. That symbol could also mean the same thing. It could mean, like, okay, check out what Omega means. What is this Greek alphabet stand for? the last, the ultimate achievement. So, I'm pretty sure it's a lore reason. It doesn't seem to be like anything real world related. So that's what I think that it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be something to do with the Void Mother in terms of like going head to head with the Atlas or 
bringing her autophage. And as you know, if you've kept up with the ARG, the Void Mother is actively rebuilding herself in the shadows. So not even the Atlas knows that she is even on the horizon. Please make sure to keep your expectations in check. It's not going to be the end of No Man's Sky. Trust me, it's not. If it was, we would have started to see some very, very, very small stuff. Anyway, in other news, there are modular ship part descriptors alongside other customization option presets in the experimental, such as the multi-tool staff, player character customization parts, pet accessories, vehicle decals, etc. In a way, there's a ship customization feature being built, in a way. It's not necessarily going to be like the full-blown like customization thing as of yet, because like when we read the code, it doesn't necessarily look like that. But, you know, this is a fairly early development cycle of this feature. In the future, it could be a fully fleshed out system, and I'm sure they will do it at some point. But I don't know necessarily what this feature is going to bring to the game, and I don't know how it's going to work like. Is every ship going to be able to be fully customized, or is it going to be like one dedicated ship that you could just swap every part on and make it yourself, while the other ships you have to go find pretty much to not ruin ship hunting. That's exactly what I'm saying. And before I end this video, there is one more thing that I wanted to say, and that one more thing is that there is a brand new main mission in the experimental branch. I didn't cover it yet but I'm going to cover it in its own separate video, and it involves your Wonders catalog, which now we know why they added it, and why there's so many different hidden options. We know why there are so many different hidden options now, and it's because of this main mission. So I'm pretty sure that once the Wonders catalog, or once this update, uh, it, it gets released, it's going to get expanded by crazy. I'm certain of it, because this update brings this feature where you can always go back to the Atlas even after you've helped the Atlas reset the simulation. You can go back and provide something for it, like a wonder that you have. So it's a super weird feature and I don't know what this is exactly for, but I feel like this might be leading up to something bigger or it could just be like, hey, here's a fun little thing go to the atlas check this out you could use this maybe that's how it works anyway that's gonna do it for this video i that was quite a lot of stuff to really talk about but that was a lot and i'm gonna be waking up every single morning to pretty much ensure that i can start streaming whenever this update does come out if you like this video and you enjoy the content and as always Thank you all so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. We hit, we just hit 600 subscribers last night. That was absolutely awesome. You guys fucking rock. I'm gonna get out of here. And anyway, if you like the content, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell. To protect and serve.